Sometimes you find yourself alone and struggling to come up. Sometimes the problems are so overwhelming that they bring us to tears. At times like this, many of us want to trust God. When times are difficult, God's unchanging character should be all that gives us a firm foundation and anchor to guide us, especially when things feel uncertain. Life can go along smoothly for a season. Your job is satisfying. Your friends and family are cool. Your goals, finances, health, and outlook seem bright. Then, all of a sudden, life throws a curveball. Sometimes, someone you know gets sick. You lose your job, a friend or family member betrays you, and the list is endless. Things you felt secure in all of a sudden feel shaky and uncertain. There is always hope, and God will turn your sorrow, disappointment, fear, and struggles into one big testimony. Those problems cannot last forever. They are not there to stay. Sorrow may last all through the night, but joy comes in the morning. All the troubles you have had to go through are just leading you to this point where you've experienced God's goodness. Something good is coming for you. A miracle is on the way, and you will see it manifest very soon. God is making a big move, and you have to believe it. Your days of crying are over. Your days of struggling and suffering has come to an end. No more disappointment for you. In places where you have struggled or found it difficult to progress, you will begin to excel. God is turning your life and changing your story. You are destined by God to be great. Whether man or woman, you are in the best plan God has. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 gives a good summary of what God's intent is towards us, and it's nothing less than perfect. He has made us wonderfully, amazingly, beautifully, remarkably, awesomely, and fearfully. Imagine God standing before a huge canvas. He has a painting palette in one hand and a giant paintbrush in the other. As he prepares to paint, he mixes a few colors together on his palette to create a new mix he has never used before. He makes a few broad strokes and covers the canvas with one color, then adds smaller splotches of colors, peach out new colors never used before. It took him a long time to create that piece that is distinctively different from others, yet has similarities to past paintings, and that's you. He has taken his time to invest in that piece. So do you think he would ever delight in seeing that amazing piece sad, broken, depressed, confused, fail, or lose? Never. When things are happening in the wrong direction, it's the adversary at work. We need to realize that there are greater lessons to be learned during trying periods or times of brokenness. Probably our strength is not enough and God needs us to know that we can depend on Him. Even though the adversary may try to damage that picture that is your life, God is making something beautiful out of it, a masterpiece that the world is yet to see. And all those tiny blotches that seem to be marrying your life at this point and making life unbearable for you are all part of the big picture. God makes his move and remember that your life is in his hands. With him, you are safe. And no matter what life throws at you, you would come out a champion and stand victorious. Sometimes we only want to receive God at our comfort. We want things to go our way, but it doesn't happen that way. You will not always get a job after college immediately. You will not always have a child the moment you get married. Things that you once took for granted might become serious challenges in your life. Consider this your trying moment. They are light afflictions working out a far greater weight of glory for you. Open your heart to the message your situation is teaching you. Some problems are there to strengthen us, 
to help us develop grit, to build and prepare us for a greater and better future. David went through a lot of challenges before he became king, but all of that was a kind of preparation towards becoming the king over the land of Israel. Joseph went through tough moments, but he had a beautiful ending. Look beyond the current situation that you are facing and begin to see by faith the beauty that lies ahead of you. See the wonders that God wants to make of your life. Maybe you cannot help feeling depressed. You feel like no one understands. It is okay to feel tired, sad, and weak, but don't give up. Sometimes things are happening so quick that we might be overwhelmed. We find ourselves unprepared for such events. We believe greatly in God, and so we do not expect things occur in our lives. No one wants to go through the rough and tough phase. Maybe people around you cannot comprehend the whole line. They do not understand, but God does, and everything is working all together for your good. God's plan is like a picture book. Each colorful picture shows you at different stages of your life, even those difficult moments. He knows what will be happening in your life right this minute, as well as your growing stages. He has your life planned out, and you can never miss His plan. A writer once said, God in heaven sees your life as a long parade. You are limited and can only see what is in front of you and what has passed behind you. You cannot see around the corner. That is why you feel much more frustrated, tired, and sad. But God can. He is above looking right at you and can see the whole lineup in front of you. Why not stay focused and keep trusting God to change that situation, to heal you and help you? Trust Him completely to stay in line. God in His awesomeness will be moved. He has the power to meet you on that wrong route and direct you to the right path. You have been fashioned and designed to be great. He has equipped you in a special way, different from the next person to you. He will help you. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 13 says, For I the Lord your God will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. God is never a liar, and He will come through for you. He will help you get through that situation and bring you on the other side. You will see mountains moving and things working in your favor. Every storm that has been raging will cease and peace will be restored. God is not sleeping on your case. He is working to make something beautiful, to turn your mess into a message and your horrors into honor. You are God's perfect creation. Trust Him to do the great things He has purposed for you. Don't let the devil let you lose the opportunity God's bringing your way. The Bible tells us to rejoice always in Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16. Anticipate God's blessings and fulfillment of His words to increase you, make you flourish, heal you in mind, spirit, and body. His plans are for you and yours alone. God knows you better than you know yourself. You will always be a special design with a special plan. Stay tuned and connected with your Father in heaven, for His plan will put more than a smile on that beautiful face. Do not give up. He is about to do something that will blow your mind.